let's talk about citizenship. Man, I love citizenship. I, I think this is a very important topic. Um, and I'm not using the term leader or follower because oftentimes when I use the term leader, I think some people are tempted to say, well, I'm not that person, so this doesn't really apply to me. So when we use the term citizen, this applies to everyone, wherever you are in the hierarchy. And all of us, as we, as we behave at work, um, will be one of three types of citizens. We're going to be a taker, uh, we're going to be a giver, or we're going to be a matcher. And I'm going to tell you that this is behavioral and that you could choose to change differently. And because it's behavioral, you could work at guiding other people's behavior in that way. And there's strong, powerful research behind this. Strong research behind which type of citizen has the most career sex success. So, uh, takers use success as attaining results that are superior to others. So, takers want to win at all costs. They must get something that you don't have. And if you have to sacrifice for them to get what they want, that's your problem, not theirs. Okay? So those are takers. I know it's going to be a stretch, but you might be able to think of a few of those uh, in your environments. Matchers see success as balancing. Not really out to win. Uh, they don't want to take something away from you. They're not necessarily going to step forward and help you. But I might be able to point you towards someone that can. I might be able to introduce you to someone that can help. I can't do it for you. No, not me. But uh, John Pratt can do it for you. So I'll, uh, I'll introduce you to John. <laughs> and he can take care of it. That's a matcher, okay? Givers. Givers characterize success. Now, now watch this. This is critical. Individual achievement that has a positive impact on others. Individual achievement. Do not miss that. Because we're talking about helping other people's at, people at work, but the, your fundamental responsibility at work, our fundamental responsibility, is to perform our given job with distinction. There's nothing more fundamental to what we do when we step into the workplace. You must perform. You've got to be damn good at what you do, and now more than ever. And as you master your current job, you should look for ways to improve it. Don't wait for Shannon to ask you, how could we improve this job? It's your responsibility, not hers, to initiate that. It's your job, not hers. Your job is to say, how can I do this job better? And then to take responsibility for that and begin to speak to people in ways where you partner with them. Where you can go to your supervisor instead of saying, this sucks and so do you, you need to change it. <laughs> where you can go and say, you know, this isn't working correctly. Here are some suggestions for improvement that I have. Here's what I'm willing to do. This is all I need from you. And as a supervisor, I would tell you that's where you want to get people. You don't want to be, you don't want them to, to come to you and just complain and then you take that from them because you're setting up a paternal environment. And paternalism is dependency. And dependency puts people in shackles. It doesn't allow them to assume the fullness of what they could contribute. You want to move them to being a partner with you, where they are interdependent with you, not dependent on you. Does that make sense? And some of us manage in ways that make others dependent on us. But I'll tell you, dependency, you must allow it to be placed on you. You don't become dependent unless you co cooperate with that. You can't be put in dependency unless you allow it to happen. So take responsibility for yourself. Uh, achieve, and then look for ways to help others. But there are ways to help that are critical. I mean, givers, the research is absolutely, utterly clear that givers are the ones that achieve long-term success. I'm talking about decades of good research, not consultant research where they tell you they got a mountain of evidence and you never see the peer-reviewed publication. This is, this is good stuff. Um, givers win the game, but givers also lose the game. It depends how you give. It depends how you give. So uh, you're going to have a focus of concern for yourself and your own self-interest. You're going to have a focus of concern for others' self-interest. So if your concern for your own self-interest is low and concern for other interests, you're just uh, apathetic. Would that be a good word? I think that's fair. You're just there. You don't, you're not plugged in at all. You're apathetic. Here are the takers. High concern for their own interests. Low concern for the interests of others. Those are the takers. Selfless givers have a low concern for themselves, high concern for others. And although that sounds really good, you do not want to encourage this in yourself or in others because you will not win the game. 
And I'm telling you, it is legitimate to win the game. It is okay to win. How you win matters. And you can win in a way that everyone wins, not just you. Does that make sense? So if you have some people that are just totally self-sacrificing but are not focused on their own career and their own success, I mean, we really need to intervene with those people and get them to be concerned about themselves and their performance. So, uh, you know, Grant terms this, this uh, coins this term otherish givers. Never heard it before. I like it. So otherish givers are focused on themselves. So you do have a high concern for your own self-interest. That is okay. That is absolutely okay. But to be a real good giver and to be successful over the course of your career, you've got to think about others. I mean, and this gets to your point about building community. I mean, if you want to build community, you can't build community with a bunch of selfish people. You can't. You can't build community with a bunch of selfless people. You can't because you'll never perform, and you must perform. Your organization must be at the top of its game. So you've got to be performing. You can't have selfish people. You must have other types of givers. Does that make sense? 